This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 Technology Student Course. In this lesson, we'll learn how to draw dot plots and box plots. In this lesson spreadsheet application, data has been entered into two columns. Class A and Class B completed a formative test after a unit of work with marks out of 20. When entering data in a column, the column requires a name. Use the up arrow key. Name the first column Class A. Name the second column Class B. Press Ctrl I and insert a data and statistics application. The application is waiting for you to decide what variable you want to graph. On the calculator, move the cursor to the bottom of the screen and press enter. A shortcut is to press tab, select the variable you wish to graph, class A. To change the data selection, click again at the bottom of the screen and select class B. To graph a box plot, press Menu, select Plot Type, select Box Plot, moving your cursor across the box plot, Minimum, First Quartile, Median, Third Quartile, Maximum. If you wish to draw parallel box plots, Press Menu, select Plot Properties, select Add X Variable, select Class A. You've drawn parallel box plots. Press Menu. Select Plot Type, select Dot Plot, you have plotted parallel dot plots. Insert a data statistics application, press Tab, select Class A, Press Menu, select Analyze, select Plot Value. An example of the value that we could plot is the mean or median. Let's plot the mean. Press Brackets, press the VAR key. Select Class A and press Enter. We've calculated the value, the mean. As the graph is dynamic, click on a data value and move it. The mean value is changing as we're reducing a data value. Press Escape to undo. Press Control Z or Control Escape. Be sure to check out more of the videos in this series. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.